Hi everyone, I'm Arya Roy. I'm a third year hematology and oncology fellow from Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. And I'm an incoming breast medical oncology assistant professor at the Ohio State University, Ohio State Rose, uh, Comprehensive Cancer Center. In our study, we evaluated the polygenic risk scoring in breast cancer and its association with the survival outcomes in breast cancer. We know that breast cancer is the most common malignancy in women in the US and also it is the second it is the second most common cause of mortality in women in the US. And there are several high penetrance and moderate penetrance genes which are associated with the with the heritability of breast cancer such as BRCA1, BRCA2 or TP53, ATM, etc. Although there are some high and there are the high and moderate penetrance genes, there are several other low penetrance genes which are commonly seen in the population than, than when compared to the pathogenic variants, which in combination has a higher risk for breast cancer development. And there is very little that is known about these low penetrance genes. And most of the time, these low penetrance genes are actually single nucleated polymorphisms or called as SNPs. These are DNA variants usually seen in people. So we can identify the uh, gene variants through G GWAS testing. And there is a score called as polygenic risk score. So polygenic risk score is a mathematical value that is calculated by combining the effects of hundreds of or thousands of genetic markers in an individual which would help us to identify the individual's risk for certain type of diseases especially in breast cancer. So in our study we looked at the polygenic risk score and we know that polygenic risk score is usually associated with the incidence of breast cancer but the association of polygenic risk score with the survival outcomes in breast cancer is not very well studied. Therefore, in our study, we hypothesized that in patients with higher polygenic risk score, they have higher chance of secondary cancers or recurrence of cancer and also higher mortality rates. For our study, we looked at the pathway study, which is a large prospective cohort of cancer survivor patients who were enrolled from 2006 to 2013 at the Kaiser Permanente in Northern California. We had a total of 4,505 patients enrolled in this study so far. And out of that, 3,900 patients, 3,980 patients, they had genome-wide genotype data available. We looked into the polygenic risk scoring and we looked into four different polygenic risk scoring. PGS-313, which is a 313 variant scoring, then PGS-4000, PGS-5000, and PGS-6 uh, 6 million. And in our study, we mainly observed that those who have higher polygenic risk scoring, which is the PGS-313, they have higher risk for recurrence of disease, and also they have higher risk of mortality rates. We divided the groups into three different groups. T1, T2, and T3, with T1 is the group of patients which have low PGA scores, P T2 is the group of the patients which have medium P uh, PGA scores, and T3 is the group of the patients who have higher PGA scores. And we observed that when compared to the patients who have low scores, which is the T1 group, T2 and T3 groups, they had higher chance of recurrence and also higher chance for overall mortality and also higher chance of invasive breast cancer events. So this study actually tells us that in addition to the risk of association of development of uh, cancer, breast cancer in patients with higher polygenic risk score, there is higher polygenic risk score is also associated with the survival outcomes in breast cancer. So this study is definitely important in the cancer prevention prevention and also can uh, prevention area because when we know that if a patient has higher polygenic risk score that means that this patient has higher chance of re recurrence and we need to follow up the patient very closely and also we need to make sure that the patient is adherent to strict uh, screening guidelines even after they are um, even after they are cured from their cancer thank you so much
Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.